Hello, my name is Kyle, and I would like to teach you some JavaScript. Um, JavaScript isn't a difficult language to learn, but it is a very difficult language to master. So in this video, I hope to just introduce you to some basic concepts and get you familiar with uh, getting started with JavaScript. Um, by far, the best resource, in my opinion, is the Mozilla Developer Network. That's at developer.mozilla.org. It's a great place to get API documentation or just learn um, some tutorials and learn the basics. Uh, so I highly recommend uh, checking that out as well. There are two main ways that JavaScript can run, and you'll hear this uh, frequently, uh, front-end versus back-end, or client-side versus server-side. So client-side refers to JavaScript running in a web browser, whereas server-side is running on a server, usually through either Node.js or IO.js um, or something of that sort. In this video, I'm just going to focus on the client side. And the best part is, is you probably already have a JavaScript interpreter installed on your computer. Simply open up your web browser, either Google Chrome, Firefox, IE, Safari, or any of those sorts. Each one of them have a JavaScript console. Uh, with Chrome, you can click up here to the options and go to tools and then go to JavaScript console. And this will open up a console in which you can write JavaScript. So the first thing we're going to do is write the word console. Now console is a variable that's provided to you by the browser uh, globally everywhere. Um, and with that, it allows us to interact with the console. So a common way is to write console.log and then use parentheses to call this method. And we're going to feed it a string hi. And a string is just a string of characters wrapped in quotes. They can be single quotes or double quotes. Uh, it's up to you for your preference. Um, and so if we're going to run this method by hitting enter, and it will log hi to our console. So our console has many methods and properties on it, and you can access and uh, explore those by putting a period afterwards, and you can see all the different things they have. Um, now, what if you want to create your own variable that has its own properties? Um, to do that, you just start by typing var to mean you're going to create a variable. And let's give it a name. Let's call it bear. And then we're going to say it equals. And we're going to use two curly mustaches here. Uh, and this means we're going to create an object. And so in this object, we can create, um, we can add our own properties. We can add uh, methods we can we can do whatever we want. Um, so let's just go ahead and hit enter after that and create our bear. And so now when we say console log bear, we have an empty object. So adding ob adding uh, our own property to uh, our bear object is simple. We just say bear dot um, name equals Grizzly, if I could spell it. And now we say console log bear or bear dot name equals grizzly. So now let's create a function on our bear. Um, and to do so, uh, we could just type bear dot and we'll give our function a name, growl, and we'll say it equals. And we'll use the keyword function, put two parentheses, two curly mustaches, and we're going to use the keyword return to say when this function is called using the parentheses, uh, we're going to return something. So let's just return a string that just says growl or grr, that's better. And now we're going to hit enter, and we have created our growl function. So let's just log that uh, bear. And see now we have a growl function. So now we can say bear.growl and it will return the string grr. This has been a very light introduction to JavaScript and I hope it's just enough just to get you started. Um, another global variable I encourage you to check out is the window variable, which refers to the window of the browser itself. And on this, uh, you'll see all the different APIs available to you in the browser. And you'd be quite surprised on what kind of things you can do in, um, in a web browser. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe and like if you uh, want to see more. Um, so I really appreciate you watching and uh, good luck.